Welcome back to the Ultimate Hockey League of the World. That's right, Beer League Hockey Podcast ripped off my intro. Hey, I let them have it. They can have it. I ripped off TSN, primetime music, they can rip me off. Who cares? Adam Blasberg's wearing a cam. And uh, so is Anthony Ferrari. He's going to show off first. Check it out. Ferrari takes a while. And just like you would see on the racetrack, some magic happening from the amazing Italian. The rush leads to a Fisher Rose goal, and it's 1 0 for the black guys. And uh, Ferrari letting his teammates to controlling the play, coaching the play, and check out this three way passing play. The German deflection goes straight to Matthew Chan, 2 0 for the black guys. And check out uh, Cole Beaver. Got quite the shot. Everybody's quite excited about this new rookie in the UHL dub. Oh yeah, that was the shot of Anthony Hempel's brand new jersey. Had to get a shot of that. And uh, Fisher's gonna set him up for a shot. But just like the Rockies, totally failed. Uh, but Fisher doesn't fail. Check it out. This time he keeps it to himself, cuts across the ice and finds the right side of the net. And it's, what is that, five nothing? 4-0. Defense isn't working, so Danny's going to try some offense. Danny Torrance, trying to go end to end, hasn't quite got the shot yet. Now, Parfum finds Ferrari, zooming down the left side of the ice. What a great rush, but uh, going to find Fisher in front. Now, signs of life for the white team. It's Aaron Tilson, Brown, Mike Brown to Billy Bones. Now, what happened there? Uh, nice soft touch pass. That's uh, off the post. That was uh, Johnny McQueen reacting to the very first pass. Like the wide open net for Billy Bones. Plays it off the pad and off the post. Dan Elliott on the other end keeping uh, the control under control. Yep. Here's the Blasberg cam and we haven't seen much of that. And it's probably why. Uh, just pretty much ineffective for the first half of this game. Ferrari coming at you though. And... When the Ferrari's driving the puck in, it usually leads to good things. Takes it in behind and finds Cole Beaver. Uh, that means 5 nothing. So, of course, Ferrari's still on fire. Check out the little, check out the little fake. Opens the blade, down goes Elliott. And a wide open net. That's how you do it. Six nothing. Wow. Elliot sure isn't the problem here. Uh, he's making the saves where he needs to. And this game could have been ten nothing. Now White desperate. They're gonna make a nice little give and go play. It's Brown to Lawrence Santos, and Santos finally pots one for White. Check it out. Just waits. Waits him out, pops it through. Okay, 6-1. Dan Elliott still doing his thing. Keeping, the, keeping White alive. Hey, James Turpin, we were having beer before the games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. Steve Weir was having beer before the games. This game is sponsored by Bomber Brewing. So if you want to play like Steve, go to Bomber before the game. All right, so as you can see, Steve just... Goes to the net, waiting for the puck. That's not a bad play, but maybe there is something to that brew. Okay, check it out. Weir chases down the puck and finds Parfum. Not to switch teams, by the way. I'll just let Steve take away at the commentating. AJ with Chirpery is like, well, not Chirpery, but. You have a couple of beers before the game, Steve? So then uh, I had to go in and uh, set him up for one. <laughs> I think I did, yeah. How many beers I had two. Well, that's half a beer, but it doesn't really count. Oh, fuck. I didn't think I was uh, playing that poorly, but I guess uh, okay, you could tell if you're an astute hockey player. It's nothing like your uh, your night, Mike Brown. The in 
infamous night. You spent more time on top of Scott in the crease. Your skates. I never felt so much. That's like a toddler. <laughs> all right, guys, we got AJ. This is all. It's all good now. Hey, AJ. Did you email you guys go to Bomber? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, just me. And Ryan, uh, Lucy, but he doesn't not playing tonight. He okay. rolled his ankle. What's uh, is that Cody, the guy in the black? What's that guy's name? The cool. Blackhawks. Cole. Cool. 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 He's a good player, boy. Yeah, he is good. He's got a good shot. And he's he lollygags, and then he's got real good speed when he I turns know. it on. I know. Oh Jesus. With the score six to four. Dan Elliott coming up big again and keeps Beaver from. Oh, check out this scramble. German can't find it. Glasberg did a good job coming back. But Elliott seems to hit fire here. Now, White. Oh. It's Blasberg. He is taking off the. I guess the video camera on the head was pissing him off. And. Now he's back in form. Okay, Glasberg now finding Parfenak, and we've got a 6-6 game. That's right, on the one-timer. Ferrari, they didn't like that. He blows through everybody, gets the uh, return pass, and just can't beat Elliot. Elliot's just controlling the score himself. Back comes Glasberg, and check it out. Lasberg knows how to dangle through the neutral zone. And he gets a good scoring opportunity here. Could have hit that top corner. Parfenet. Does a little give and go with Brown. Comes around the other side. Gets his own rebound. And guess what? White, after being down 6 to nothing, have now taken the lead 7-6. Great comeback. Oh, yeah. That was... Uh, Chan and Ferrari trying to play position change, but it didn't work. 8-6 white. There you go, Johnny. Johnny keeping things down. And check out Beaver. Johnny's there five, for the five, save. Five. Okay. What's going on? I don't know. It's Elliot. They've switched ends. Okay, that's what happened. And Elliot plays it off his head. He actually looked like he enjoyed that. Glasberg really showing up now. He just can't beat uh, Elliot. Elliot seems to be the, uh, the dominant force on the ice at this time. Look at Gurman go to N10. For minus own net, almost does it. But we seem to be going on a goal scoring drought. The goalies seem to have things covered. And the score remains 8 to 6 white. But Freud, well, okay, just. We all saw that. I mean, a bus could have fit through there. And that's going to make it 8-7. to seven. And uh, Ferrari chasing down a puck. What's going to happen here? It's the wraparound attempt, but McQueen with the big stuff. Now, Parfenet puts it behind the net. Centers in front. And we got Shane Stoll. Uh, long lost cousin of Jared Stoll. And it's, well... I kind of lost track of the count, but it looks like it's 10 to 7 off the Billy Bone slap shot. Cole Beaver is going to make it 10 8. Got goals coming fast and furious now. Johnny with a good save there, but check out the Steve Weir defense. Like, stay out of the corners with from that guy. Jesus Christ. Uh. This is Chris McLuhan. Puck goes the other way, and it's Ferrari finding Fisher. Fisher Rose finding the five hole. Huge goal, and it's 10 to 9. 
clap after the, just crumbling under the collapse. That's Mike Brown always crumbling after the beautiful saucer pass. It's a good effort, but uh, still 10 9. And White having uh, trouble finding some insurance here. It's just Dan Elliott. This is the, the guy cannot be beat. And uh, looks like Ferrari just misses Beaver. We got a we got a pressure cooker going. The score is 10 to 9. Game is winding down. No, nobody can find the net. Look at Elliott just playing with his life on the line. And holds the puck. Okay. Beaver finds the net. Now that's a goal scorer's goal. Simple move. To the forehand strong. Ties up the game. It's 10-10. Now look. Who's going to be the hero? It's Colorado Rockies. Anthony Hempel. What a guy. Cuts across the ice. Kind of learned that from Fisher. And we've got an 11-10 game. Hempel. Fisher. Dangling. Holding on to the puck. Playing the puck. But, uh... Time running out. Beaver puts it in at the, at the end. It's, that's 12 to 10. So Black after collapsing. They they came back to win it. What a game. Give MVP to Dan Elliott. That guy just, I don't know. He's playing for both teams, but I still give him MVP. And uh, seems to be whatever team he was on was winning. Uh, what, a bunch of, what a great bunch of guys, eh? A uh, little behind the scenes action here. Steve Weir got some things to say. Still got his beer brewing on the bench. But uh, 12 to 10, that's the final. Thanks for tuning in. We'll try and get up to some more of these games broadcasted for you. You know, if I can. See you next week. <laughs>